Hello, my name is Dr. Sherelle Webley. I am a senior lecturer at the University of Hertfordshire. I'm going to present to you the course domain Medicines, Pharmacovigilance and Regulatory Aspects. This domain has been directed and developed by myself and also the co-director, Liz Swain from GSK. The need for medicines was really recognised in the 1960s after the thalidomide disaster and the legislation was put in place to primarily protect public health and also to ensure that competent authorities and marketing authorisation holders were fully responsible and accountable for the safety of their products. Therefore, it's important for us to gain some understanding of the key pharmacovigilance regulations and guidelines, not just in the post-authorisation activities, but also pre-authorisation also. Therefore, this course domain will explain the legal framework that impacts on pharmacovigilance tasks and also how regulators regulate pharmacovigilance activities. We'll also look at audits, inspections uh, and how they are able to monitor compliance. So what are the objectives and the aims of the three modules? Well, the first really is to provide knowledge of the principles underpinning pharmacovigilance, both theory and practice for professionals and non-professionals. The second module will enable you to develop an understanding of US and obviously European and also Japanese regulations. And the third module will enable you to develop an understanding of the requirements of the pharmaceutical industry from an operational perspective. The focus will be on adverse event reporting processes within the industry placed within the context of the regulatory requirements and also best practice. So I guess that uh, leaves the question, why is it so important to study this field? Well, not only will you be getting the practical elements, the theoretical elements of pharmacovigilance, but also you'll have knowledge of the major worldwide regulations and guidelines and have knowledge of the requirements that these regulations put on industry. By doing so, we'll be covering the major areas of common inspection findings, namely the maintenance of the reference safety information, the individual case, case study reports, the roles of the QPPV, and also any system failures. So you can appreciate the importance of studying this very important domain. Thank you.